Yep. If you've heard it secondhand, like a sort of rumor, it's true. I am homeless, technically, as in I don't have a permanent residence. I'm not on the street though, I am able to stay in hotels, and I am in contact with someone who has a room I'm probably going to be able to rent at a, at a good rate that I can afford, and that I'll be able to build myself uh, up again from, get my, get my businesses going again, basically. And if not that, hopefully I'll be able to just get a normal job. Uh, but that could be tricky. I won't, I won't go into detail, I won't go into detail. And I can't go into too much detail about my situation because, one, I promised my family I wouldn't, because uh, they're saying people are threatening them and stuff, uh, because I've explained what I'm going through. And two, they have warned me that I'll hear from their lawyers if I say too much, and that they will also try to get me banned from any platform I use if I say too much uh, on the basis of me causing targeted harassment, so I have to be very careful. I've said some stuff already though, so I presume it's okay to say. Uh, I was renting from my family. I got kicked out instantly with uh, no notice um, and wasn't able to get all the stuff I need. The only reason I have any useful stuff is because it was thrown at me on my way out after I was punched and kicked and had my door closed on my foot. I uh, was hit in the head with a USB power bank, which is I'm very grateful for because that's turned out to be very useful. And I was, you know, knocked onto the ground and, you know, just got a tiny bit of a scuff but by my backpack that contains all my heavy IRL kit, IRL live stream kit, which I'm also grateful for uh, because I can use that to stream. And people have been very generous while well, I've been IRL streaming in this situation, so thank you very, very much. That buys me time, uh, which is probably the most valuable thing because I think I'm going to be able to get into a situation where I'm okay. The only thing that matters is how long it takes me to get there. And if it takes too long, I'm going to reach the point where it's like, fuck, I'm so fucked, might as well just blow all my money and then jump in front of a train. Uh, but I'm going, to try not, I'm going to try not to get to that point. Um, the point of this video is to let people know that if you are supporting me, if you're like subscribed on Twitch or giving me money via Patreon because you enjoy hanging out at the video game streams, um, Part of what happened while I was being kicked out involved my computer being broken. On top of that, where I'm probably going to end up, I will not be able to use a computer anyway. So, these streams won't... Those, those, those kind of streams won't be happening anymore. Probably ever. Uh, it's unlikely I'll have access to a computer that can use it any time soon. There will, however, be IRL streams, because what the hell else am I going to spend my time doing? Uh, everything I'm working on at the moment has a bottleneck, right? It's it's only contacting people and then having to wait for them until we get to the point where they'll share, share their number with me and then we can go quickly. But until then, it's slow. If getting a normal apartment, or I'm really looking for uh, flat shares. I, I, I can't be, I can't afford my own flat. So it's like looking at flat share stuff. Uh, if that falls through, there are some people I'm very grateful to who, who have offered me their spare rooms and stuff like that. In the meantime, I get sorted out. So I am hopeful things will be okay, but I am quite fucked and they might not be okay. Uh, is basically what I'm saying. But mainly the point of this is to let you know that if you're supporting me for those things, uh, I'm not going to be able to do them anymore. Because there are some people who are supporting me for those things who haven't heard the news. I think it would be wrong not to let you know. There are also people who are um, spending a bunch of time saying, oh, stop doing this and do what it takes to make things right with your family. I've been told what it would be, take to make things right with my family, and this might be saying too much and might get me in trouble, but it involves me uh, agreeing to the idea that I'm not aware of what's going on around me and that I am... Um, completely delusional, that I am disconnected from reality and have no idea what's happening, uh, and my mom wants me to try to get diagnosed with schizophrenia. If you know me at all, you'll know that that's not something I could ever agree to. It would also involve 
uh, to make things right. Like I couldn't, I couldn't say, I couldn't say go and get help. I couldn't go and get help on my own and then come back to them. Right? I have to go and live with them, live under strict rules, agree to the idea that I have no, I have no grasp on reality around me, and try to get a diagnosis. That I can't do that. And on top of knowing, I mean, in the past they've said like they want to hurt me and stuff, but they never, they've, they've never actually attacked me before. Um, but I mean, this time my mom showed she's willing, to, she's willing to go way, way past the line of yes being violent. She's not able to hurt me, but the because I'm too big, like compared to her. But I don't know. For me, that's like a line where. Okay, I'm not safe going near these people anymore. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm being unreasonable. They were telling me I was being unreasonable and that they didn't do much or whatever. But I, I can't. And with the with the legal stuff coming up, I, like, I think my stuff's fucking lost. They said I can come get my stuff, but I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm being a pussy. I'm too fucking scared to send something to co send like a collection service because I don't want to deal with any legal shit coming up, like maybe them saying it's theirs and I'm stealing or something, or me going there and, and I'm not going to defend myself against my parents, so if they want to fucking hurt me again, I can't do anything, so fuck that! Even though there's quite a lot of valuable stuff there, all my clothes are there, I... my thought right now is I fucking can't. I've probably said way too fucking much, but, you know, I, I like, just... I have money to stay in hotels for a little while while I'm sorting stuff out, I have money for food, but I can't sleep. I can't fucking eat properly. I can't. It's just too fucking stressful. Because I make light of it and stuff. Um, but I do have fucking problems. I am unironically diagnosed with autism. Uh, the situation I'm in is fucking terrifying. Um, beyond belief. Having to deal with... Um, so many strangers, and I've explained that my my strategy for being able to do IRL stuff is that I live at ten, I live at ten stress, like ten fear constantly. So it's not any scarier for me to do stuff that other people find scary. No, I'm living at like fifteen terror right now, and I ha I'm not even, I'm not eating right, and I'm not sleeping right, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. So hopefully I'll uh, get stable, and then be able to build myself up. Again. Uh, I think I've covered the important parts. Uh, I'll stream as much as I can, because like I said, I don't have much else to do. I might not stream tonight, because I'm just fucked. I'm just fucking... got this overwhelming black cloud over me that I'm fucking doomed. And I'm like cycling between that and hope and that and hope. And I don't know what I, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'm sorted with accommodation for the next seven days and I could afford more after that but I should know whether I'm going to be able to get this place on rent within that amount of time and based on that I'll know whether I want to take up offers of like spare room, spare space um, fingers crossed that works out if you want to keep up with what's going on you'll want to go and follow and like, make sure you have notifications on for twitch.tv slash harmful opinions. I do have my 4G sims. I have three 4G sims. So, uh, and I have money in my bank account. And it's, they're on like 12 month contracts. So as long as I don't fuck up horribly, I'll have internet access for months, wherever I am. Um, what was I even saying? Yeah, just, do you want to keep up twitch.tv slash harmful opinions? That's your best bet. Your next best bet is a channel called The Cyber here on YouTube, which is where I upload the streams after they're done. Or Twitter might be a good... Twitter.com slash CyberHarm. It's a good place, or my Discord, if you can find it. Yeah. Hopefully, people who are wondering know what's up. People who are, are supporting me financially because you like the gaming chill-out streams know what's up and know whether they want to keep supporting based on what they know it's going to be from here on out, or um, are able to, you know, unsubscribe or whatever, if that's not what they want anymore. Yeah, um, see ya, fingers crossed, on this room.